All right, guys, so the lighting's probably terrible right now because it's later on in the day, but I just got my package from Amazon, and I'm going to be installing LED dome lights here in the interior and also on the license plates. So I'm going to show you guys how I did it. Probably not the most efficient way, but I'm going to show you guys the way I'm going to do it. Okay, so I started off here in the dome light, and I already have the plastic thing off as well as the bulb. But what I did to get this out, it's just in like this, right? Laid out like that. So I got a little piece of metal and just pushed it into the corner and started popping it outwards. It's pretty simple to get out, so I got that out. And then the bulb is, you just pull it out. So now I'm going to try putting in the LED light. Now these are fairly cheap. I got these on Amazon for like a couple bucks. I think it was like $10, something like that. So I'm going to put the camera down just so I can actually see it. So there we go. I pushed it in already and... It's pretty bright. It doesn't have the lens on, but it's way brighter already than the, what the original bulb was. And the original bulb is just a regular old incandescent bulb. So these really don't shine too much. And they kind of have like a yellowish t uh, glow to it. So I wanted to get LEDs because that's obviously a lot whiter. And through the lens, I mean, it's going to look way better in here. So I'm just going to pop the lens back in. And then we're going to move on to the license plate in the back. That little metal thing right here, this is what I got the plastic thing off. You don't need anything like fancy. I just found this little metal like... I don't even know what this is, but I found it in the garage in the toolbox. So I just kind of like, here, let me just grab it the other way. I just kind of like push this corner in to the edges right here and then just popped it outwards. So just work your way around it until you finally can just pull the whole thing off. Be fragile with it because it can like crack in the middle. So you got to be careful with it. I was very uh, fragile with it, so it didn't break anything. So now let's move on to the light plate back there. Okay, so I'm just going to move on to the back. Now, the interior was fairly easy. I have no idea how the heck I'm going to do the license plate ones because I've tried to pop move this before and it did not work. So, I'm going to see if I can get it off with a flat screwdriver. Just pop them off and then we'll install these. I have three left. I only need two more, so see what I'll do with the extra. Probably just keep it in case one of them blows out. So, actually, I'm going to place them on top of the trunk lid. And then I'm going to go look for a flathead screwdriver. I literally just looked everywhere and I cannot find a single flathead. I guess me and my dad just either misplaced all the flatheads or just don't own any. So she needs to try to use a Phillips. So what it is that there's a little like clip right here. And then I feel like you just push it that way and then pull it down. But it's a little difficult to do both at the same time while holding the camera. So I'm going to try to get this off and then get the other one off and then I'll put the LEDs in. So I'll get to you guys in another second. All right, so I got I uh, couldn't find a flathead like I just said a second ago. So the fillers didn't work. I just used my keys. So I got the plastics off, and that's how these lo look. So I'm just gonna pull these off and then put the LEDs right on there. So it should be easy. Just try to do it with one hand even. See, comes off really easily. I'm gonna put that right there. Get an LED. And I don't know if I can put them in with one hand. I probably can't, but. Just the same input, you just put it in there. Look, pretty simple. And LED you have, like that. It's pretty easy. Then I'm actually, I think I can put the uh, spare because I have four and I only needed three. I think I can fit these in the trunk as well, the trunk light. So I'm gonna see if it works in there. And if not, like I said, I'll just keep it for a spare. Oh, okay. So I wish I would recorded it before, but this is how bright they are now. Okay, so the the uh, trunk one looks pretty simple. Right here on the side, it got a little slot for like a screwdriver to pop it open. So I'm just gonna use the keys again and pop it off and put the LED in. My camera isn't focusing. There we go. So I'm using a 2005 Chevy Tahoe key, and then I'm just gonna put it in like like so, and it's it didn't work. Okay. This might one this might be a little bit more complicated. I'm gonna get the little metal piece I use for the interior now. Oh, I'm doing this vlog kind of late at night because I just got the package a few minutes ago. It's not really that late though. It's only like, it's only 5 o'clock. But because of daylight savings, days run out so fast, kind of sucks. But whatever, I'm just trying to make the best out of it. So I'm trying to make a video. But then again, oh, and then tomorrow's Thanksgiving. So I hope everybody has a good Thanksgiving. And it's also going to be sales at store. So I'm going to go try to buy a DSLR. So I can get some more killer shots for Instagram. Because I have been going with a photographer, or I went with a photographer a few days ago. So I'll get a photo shoot for Instagram, so I want to get better quality pictures. But I want to get my own camera, and then maybe I can start a business too, or start doing photography. 
for like doing photo shoots for a couple of dollars here and there so I can start making more money for more car parts. So yeah, let me find that metal piece though so I can get this project done. Okay, so it's way later on to, into in the night and I'm getting ready to go to band practice as you can see. I did not do the trunk light because I couldn't figure out how to take the bulb off. But I love how this came out. It looks really good at night. The camera doesn't really do it justice, but it, it is a lot brighter. And so is the interior. If you can tell. It looks a lot better. I feel like I can see the interior more at night now. So I'm probably going to do this tomorrow. Uh, so I'm going to continue to vlog tomorrow morning. Alright guys, so it's currently the next day, Thanksgiving uh, morning actually. It's around like 8 o'clock right now. I woke up kind of early today for not having school, which is kind of weird because I never wake up this early. Now I just got the trunk light removed. Now I recommend when you're doing this to flip this thing in so the trunk thinks it's closed. Because if not, the light will stay on when you're trying to work on it and it gets really hot. That's also a bad thing about stock bulbs is that these things get really hot. LEDs do not. So, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. That's another reason I like LEDs way more than having those. And then when you do, it's going to be connected to this plastic thing right here. You, there's a little tab at the top where you push in and then you just pull it out. And it makes it a lot easier because it's really hard to get this off while it's on there. And I use the flathead finally found one to push out the light because as you can tell there's like metal all around it so it's kind of hard to like pull it just pull it out you just push it in from the back and then it comes off really easily so let's hope it actually works that the trunk light is done you can tell you're gonna put it back in the slot right here and it's done obviously you can't tell how much brighter it is right now because well, one, my camera won't, there we go. Because, well, it's daytime, but you can already tell it's a lot, like, whiter compared to those bulbs. These are, like, really yellowish looking. I hate how these stock bulbs look. So this is way, way better. Now I'm going to put the stock ones up here with the rest of them. Right there. In case I ever need those. I need more Jack Tracks and Adams Polish products. Look how much chemical guys I have. Three bottles of this, they're, well they're different, this uh, wax polish and then the soap. And then I have waterless wash, interior detailer, and MAC cleaner. And then I need to get some products from Limitless Car Care. And the reason for that is this, if you haven't seen my Instagram post lately, I've been tagging a lot of different companies. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a sponsorship. Uh, I had talked to Limitless Car Care a couple months back. And they said that once I got the, the first criteria is that I needed to get to a thousand followers on Instagram. I'm not a thousand followers. I emailed them, but I still haven't received an email back. So I'm hoping to receive an email back from the Limitless Car Care. And then also Diode Dynamics, they emailed me back. They, they sent me an application that I need to fill out and send to them. But I don't have any ink on my printer at the moment, so I can't uh, print the application out. And then also uh, OBT7 Lighting. Now them, I went to their website and for sponsorship, one of the requirements actually has 7,000 followers. So that one's going to be a little bit more in the future if I actually ever do start working with them as a partnership or something, a little sponsorship. That one's going to be a little bit harder because you do need more followers. But I'm just trying to get a sponsorship, mostly a cleaning company because I do like detail my car a lot. I do wash it all the time and stuff. If you guys haven't noticed, a lot of my videos, I actually am washing it. In. And I'm actually going to wash it right now because it's a little dirty. So I'm just trying to get a sponsorship by a cleaning company. If you guys have any connections with a cleaning company, <laughs> let them know of me, please. I'm trying to get a sponsorship really, really hard. But let's get on with today's video. I'm actually going to probably go shopping later on. Just trying to get some date, uh, sales. Try to record a little bit of that and then maybe go for a drive later or something. Here's the little pony. <laughs> was that, that was not what you were expecting? <laughs> We're gonna wash the Mustang, the Camaro, and then possibly the Tahoe. So, Johnny, what are we doing today? Wait, the hell? And I'm getting mighty tired of your traveling ways and of listening to that jackass Bray. <laughs> So we're putting water. 
And then we're gonna start it up and see if it shoots it out. How are you spending your Thanksgiving? My car still sounds like it's boiling water, but we're gonna wash his car and then we're gonna try the exhaust shooting water with his car too. I wanted to stop real quick and just say to you guys um, how thankful I am for all of you. I know there's not a lot of you. It's only I only have like around 210 subscribers, but I'm thankful for every single one of you. Uh, thankful for everybody who's clicked on my videos and subscribed, giving me uh, likes and even dislikes. You know what? If you don't like my content, or well, if you just want to give it a thumbs down, okay, that's fine. I don't care. That's you know just criticism that I'll take and try to improve my vlogs so you can like them even more or you can keep disliking them that's your personal opinion I'm doing this because I enjoy it I'm very thankful for YouTube and for all of you guys as well as Instagram and I'm also very thankful for my Camaro and my dad who's helped me a lot throughout the way also of purchasing the car and also just you know taking me to me it's always being with me at any show so I'm very thankful for that and I'm very thankful for my home and obviously all that so if you guys are having a rough day and don't have don't think you have anything to be thankful for remember you're not six feet under so that's something to be thankful for so let's keep moving on with the video my friend uses honeydew the uh, what is it honeydew snow foam yeah, yeah it's also Kimball guys and uh, we used a lot in this or we put a lot in this one because we want a lot of foam on this car because it's kind of really dirty and we just kind of want a lot of foam anyway so he's been driving this every day and it's been raining or it hasn't been raining lately, but it rained the other day. And like, it's so dirty right here, it just won't come off. So, time to hit it with the foam gun. I think that creates more suds than the Mr. Pink. Yo, when did you get a white car? Uh, yesterday. Looks good. So... As you guys know, I've never really been that happy with Mr. Pink. I will 100% recommend Honeydew Snow Foam. I like it way more than Mr. Pink. Mr. Pink's good too, don't get me wrong. But Honeydew Snow Foam, as you can tell, it's like the car literally got snowed on. That's why they call it Snow Foam. Yeah, it smells hella good. It smells so good. It actually smells like fresh cut honeydew just smells amazing okay you might think I'm in exaggerating the point right now but no that smells amazing like it just smells so good like the Mr. Pink smells like kind of like bubble gum and it smells all right but this is just so strong like I'm standing I'm standing pretty far away from the car and I can still smell it it's like really strong of a smell I recommend buying a power washer if you love detailing cars if you have a foam kind in with a power washer it's just so much easier that's actually my neighbor's, him. It's actually his power washer, but we just use it. We generally wash both our cars on the same day, so we just wash them at my house. But, yeah. 
like I said, like 50 times already. It smells so good. So now it's uh, the Mustang's turn to shoot water. She's gonna roll it up and then we're gonna spray it. It's like spraying nitrous. Not really good. His exhausts are on the side too, kind of angled. So it's gonna shoot backwards at an angle. So this is the worst spot to be standing, but yeah. Awesome. There we go. This power washer was fairly cheap. It was from Harbor Frights, right? Yep. And it was like, what, $80? I think $85. I got that yeah, the power washer pretty cheap, and then he just got the foam can and all that off of Amazon. Hmm. Let's see how his car works what with this. I'll oh, push the button. Yeah. Look at this real quick, it's like, sorry, I just blocked the camera. So those are his mufflers. Or actually, you know what? His mufflers are way over here. That's a mid-pipe muffler by Magnum Flow. And this is the end of the pipe, so the water's just going to chill there in the pipe. You got a mid-pipe muffler. Your muffler's like in the middle, and it's a Magnum Flow. And the and then the, the exhaust tips are wicked flow. Alright, let's see what this does. Oh, I already shot out a little bit. Right, so he's filling up this side even more. Yeah. Gotta make sure it's good. So filling them up with as much water as possible. You see, this is what happens when we have a lot of free time, we're bored, and we have two cars to have fun with. <laughs> not good, not good. <laughs> but it, it does make for some killer content. I hope you guys enjoyed what we're doing, because <laughs> uh, we sure are. <laughs> this is kind of fun. Oh, and I put the monkey in the morning. I put the monkey on his uh, headrest. And uh, every time we go by his car, we kind of think there's someone inside. So it kind of backfired. It was supposed to be funny for somebody else, but now it's like pranking us. So I guess we pranked ourselves. Kind of, yeah. I'm gonna get a mask like that for car shows. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get like another mask and put it on the other seat. Yeah. I see people do that at car shows, and I always thought it was kind of funny. So I'm gonna try to get a, a mask for my own, for my, uh, for my seat. I remember the snow foam can, and I was like wiping it off. I just like see this curve like that. <laughs> yeah, I need, I'm gonna get a, um, a unicorn or a pony, or not a pony, a horse head. So like when we go up to uh, car meets and I see Mustangs, I'm gonna like stick my head out the window. And just like make fun of Mustangs in a way. <laughs> see, this is why you don't drive in the rain. All that stuff, well, you can't really see it on camera, but like it when it dries, it looks like it's still dirty, even though we just uh, did a foam cannon wash. The reason is that when you were driving in the rain, a lot of oils come up from the floor and a whole bunch of like debris, and it, it just sticks to the paint a lot more than just regular dust and stuff. So it's a lot harder to get off. So when you do, you do get. When you're driving the rain and it gets this dirty, you generally are gonna have to do a full touch wash. Why? Why not just turn it on? I'll touch it on. Well, I mean, with the price of gas money nowadays, it's probably smarter to do this, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was supposed to be part of the edit, but that did not go well. <laughs> look, over this. look at this. <laughs> that, did, that did not go how I was found.
Okay, I want to I want to know what you guys think of these rims. I love the way they look on this Beamer. There are what one, two, three, four, five spokes, but they look so good with the fitment. They like tuck kind of. Like, what do you think? I like it. I think it looks good. All right, so we just got back from the friend's house, from a friend's house down the street. Went to go check out his Mustang. As you guys can tell in the previous clip, damn that thing is loud. I mean that thing is crazy loud. But uh, I'm gonna end my vlog here. I know I said I was gonna uh, vlog while I go shopping, but I'm probably gonna do another video because I just put the clips together and it's already over half an hour. So I don't wanna have to like cut out a whole bunch of things. So I'm just gonna end it here before it gets too long. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the staying and the other staying and the Camaro. Peace out.